cruise control set at 50 and as you can see it is actually starting to slow down as it reads traffic in front and as you can see we're kind of staying at a nice 45 mile an hour pace as we get closer to this truck um, again lane keeping is on and off because we're through intersections but basically my fuel is completely off the gas and off the brake and we're pretty much just following this truck at this point now if this truck turns here we'll see what happens he's braking and he's gonna get out of our lane and as the truck turns the car is gonna start accelerating now and we're good to go now and then you'll see on the screen here um, traffic jam assist has been activated so basically in order for me to tell the car to go once the light turns green, all I have to do is tap my foot on the gas and it will continue with the traffic jam assist. So as we go, I'll tap the gas once and now we are good to go. And I have set it up to 60 miles an hour now. And what's cool is if you have the car set in dynamic, it'll actually start to accelerate harder versus automatic and then comfort obviously is gonna be the uh, softest acceleration. So I have it set to 60 and we're going to be following now if I reduce the distance to 2 or to 1 you see that we'll get start getting much closer to the car that we're following. Basically anything over 2 is kind of going to be hyper aggressive people will start cutting you off. Um, I don't re recommend it unless you know you're completely okay with people just constantly cutting you off, cutting you off, cutting you off because everyone is aggressive these days. Um, but right now the car is completely driving itself. I just have my hand gracing the wheel just in case. Um, but as you can see, hands are up here and it's following that bend nicely right now. And as we turn yellow, I'm gonna step on the brake and I'll be actually turning off here. Set it to 70 and confirm and here we're going to set it to distance 1 and have it follow uh, this uh, Q5 in front of us. That's me to grab the wheel again and my feet are off the pedals. Let's see, hands in the air, let's see. probably just increase the distance to two just to be safe and as we start braking we'll see what happens here wants me to touch the wheel active lane assist is still active okay keeping us in the lane it's good and as the Q5 starts braking Keeps its distance. Hasn't caught me off guard once yet. And let's see here, and as we come to the stop at the red light. Now again, make sure you know that this will not work if there's no car in front of you coming to a red light. So as we start slowing down, slowing down, we will come to a complete stop on its own. So foot off, up, oh, there we go. So now that we're actually rolling, I might not have to re-engage it, we'll see. So, yep, the car is now going to take off on its own. Active lane assist is not on because we're going through the intersection and it should come back online soon because now we found lanes again. As that guy switches lanes, we're going to start accelerating again. Now we'll approach this Honda and see what it does here. start braking to a complete stop. Let's see how close it gets here. Huh? That was pretty natural braking actually. No, no jarring stops, no panicking, pretty smooth. And I'm gonna see if I have to re-engage it. Nope, we're still in traffic jam assist. We're still good. And the car is now gonna take off on its own. And lane keep is now completely active again. Again, hands in, in the sky right now as we go around this bend. Yep, and I'll do it before he yells. Let's 
see if I can get back to the uh, dealership without intervening. I'm just gonna keep gracing the wheel so it doesn't yell. I lost the lanes there, I got them back right away. Now, Audi system, at least this generation, does not do any um, lane changing for you. Some other automakers are offering that. Um, I know that Audi's next gen and the A8 will definitely offer that. Um, and more, actually. So, but right now, I mean, if I were cruising on a long trip, this would be more than nice to kind of just sit here and, and relax and not have to worry too much. Um, and again, this is at night. So again, the headlights alone provide enough illumination for the system to work flawlessly. And I have the set set for 70 miles an hour. We're at a steady 45 following the traffic. Um, and you know, the system works uh, as promised. Now if I were to switch lanes, and as soon as that uh, Honda is out of the radar system, the car is going to start speeding up. And then as we approach this Ford, it's going to start slowing down again. Let's see how it registers this. Oh, yep, full braking. Now I intervened there a little bit just because it was getting a little bit aggressive. But um, as you can see, I kind of was trying to test the system there by switching lanes at the last minute. Um, and following the car in front. Uh, but otherwise, it did a pretty good job. Again, you know, trying to just test the limit here of the um, the radar systems, and that was a decent test. I'm sure it would have came to a complete stop, but um, again, I just didn't feel comfortable. So that's one circumstance where if you start driving more aggressively, um, it's not necessarily designed for that. So just keep that in mind. Activate the system now as we follow this forward. And let's see how it slows down. So it did come to a complete stop. And now, as you can see, as it's trying to reboot its systems, it took a good amount of time there to readjust. So, again, you know, not even close to human reaction time, but you know. It does work as advertised, so and as this Jeep's gonna try cutting me off, I'm gonna continue accelerating. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Leave any comments below. Um, I'm gonna let this uh, drive me all the way back to the dealership like this. It's not doing too bad of a job. Thank you, and um, again, any comments, I'll answer uh, any questions. Just leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.